Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're in Google Sheets and our job today is to look at how to create a drop-down list with colour. So depending on what is chosen in the drop-down list, the colour of the cell will change or the colour of the font will change. So we'll start with uh, the resolved column here. Basically I want to know whether this issue with the house the electrical job has been resolved. I'm just going to have a simple yes and no drop down list. Now I've created um, the val a little list of the values that I want to appear in that drop down list on another sheet. And I shall refer to those uh, for the source data for my drop down list. So, how do I create the drop down list in the first place? Well, click in the cell where I want the drop down list, go up to the data tab data validation and basically what I need to do here is select list from range in the criteria drop down list Then I click in this little select data range box I click on that little button there and then I need to go to that list sheet so I'm changing the sheet there and I select those two cells that contain my values list g2 g3 click on OK then save and then if I go back to the first sheet I've now got my little drop down list so I can either have yes or no. Now I want to apply the colour so if no is selected I want the cell to turn red uh, if yes is selected it will turn green so how do I do that well what I do with the cell selected I go up to the format tab and then I go down to conditional formatting and that gives me this task pane down the right hand side so uh, it says here that this rule is going to apply to F2 the cell that is selected and then I start the rule so format cells if and I've got lots of options here I'm going to say text is exactly and then the value or formula let's say N and then I can choose which formats are applied if that rule is met. So I'm going to say a red background and then I'm going to say white text. Done. And then I'm going to add another rule for the same cell. I'm going to say if text is exactly Y then I want a green background with white text. Done. So now you'll see if I select Y, I get green. If I select N, I get red. Okay, let's take this one step further. So at the moment, this cell goes red if N appears in it. But really, we're only concerned about the job being resolved if the job is overdue. So the fact that it says N in there may be because the job is due, you know, in 30 days time. So we're not really worried about it. So let's just add a bit of data here. Let's say we reported this job on the 1st of the 1st, 2020. And there was, let's say, six days to deal with the job within. And then we could say that the date due was the date reported plus the priority, the number of days it's got to be dealt with in, which gives us a date due of the 7th of the 1st, 2020. Now, today's date is, in fact, at the time of recording, the 6th of the 1st, 2020. So the fact that hasn't been resolved is not a problem because we're waiting for it to be resolved by the end of the following day. So this doesn't need to be read. So how do we change this to reflect whatever date has been typed in here or has been calculated in here. Well, I'm going to go, I've selected this cell and I'm going to edit this conditional formatting. So I just click on it there and I'm going to change the type of rule to custom formula. Now, this custom formula has to be a logical test and we need to consider two things. So we're going to use an AND function for this and with the AND function basically you can list a whole load of tests and if they're all the tests are met then the AND function will return true and if the AND function does return true then it will apply 
the color formatting for the conditional formatting. So our first rule is, is the date due, which is in E2, less than today's date? So to return today's date, you can use the today function. Today, open bracket, close bracket, and that keeps itself up to date. And then the second rule, so I've put a comma in before the second rule. The second rule would be, is F2 equal to N. Now notice I put it in quotation marks because it's a text value. So those are my two rules. Okay, so now I'm going to click on done. And you can see that even though I've got an N in that cell, it hasn't got red because the job is not due yet. Now let's change this a little bit. Let's say the priority was three days, which means it was due on the 4th of the 1st. And then I get the red background. So you can see you can make slightly more complicated conditional formatting. Okay, thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.